Hello YouTube. I have to apologize. It's been some time since I've done a layout update. I was actually on YouTube the other day and uh, But oh, there's quite a few subscribers that are asking for more pictures. Uh, most stuff I post to Facebook, but I'll give you a little layout tour. Um, lots done. Uh, really not working on this is Hearst, Ontario. Um, albeit the Ontario Northland. Um, really haven't worked on the North End very much. Um, again, working on the upper level lots, uh, the branch line to from Wawa to the Mitchell-Pakoden Harbour. Um, here's the pulp mill just south of uh, Hearst, which was never actually on the real Algoma Central Railway. Um, but I have added it because I do like the traffic that a pulp mill generates. And it's just a real cool industry nonetheless. I'm partial to industry-based jobs and resource-based jobs. So, um, yeah, there's a Rapido GMD-1 in there. A beautiful locomotive, really impressed with it. Um, if they do a great job on the SW-1200s, I'm sure I'll see some on the layout here. Yeah, as we head south, uh, we're leaving Weyborn, or Hearst Junction. And down along this side of the line will be uh, the three trestles that go across Oba Lake. So that's one trestle. That's the other one there that will be right along the main here. And the third one, which will be here, or first one, whichever way you will, whatever way you're coming, will be there, of course. And then the causeway as it dips out of the woods here. And we go a little bit of miles between the lake and actually the area of Oba. That's the Canadian National Main Line that runs east-west along here. And uh, that's Oba, and that's the interchange with the Canadian National. Um, so on the far tracks here, we have outbound um, ACR and inbound CNR traffic um, coming off and on, going out. Uh, these are just stored cars here for the... Uh, on the CN main line. This interchange is very a uh, uh, very active and pivotal interchange for the Algoma Central. Um, lots of traffic came and went that uh, not only came from the ACR but actually came from other railways as well. We go around the corner, um, lots of scenery along here, rock cuts and all that sort of good northern Ontario stuff. Then we come around the corner and we approach Franz which is another interchange with uh, Canadian Pacific, um, their east-west main line, so all these cars sitting on the siding are the interchange cars. Um, my layout, unfortunately, I couldn't fit um, the entire CP interchange area at Franz. I would have loved to have done it. Um, so you can kind of see here that part I model, the siding, and then the spur off to the uh, left with the... Uh, trackage on it to go on to the CP which is east-west which is what you see here and then you come around the corner and go a little bit more miles and you end up in Hawk Junction um, I think probably in between Hawk and Franz there was uh, there was some industries in there they would have liked to include it like Duberville Barthers uh, logging and, um, sorry, um, sawmills, but just can't fit it all in. So we get into Hawk Junction, and Hawk is a very busy terminal for the Algoma Central back in the late 80s. Um, lots of traffic came and went out of the Hawk, out of Hawk Junction. Uh, it was a point for the branch line to go up to the harbor at Mitchell Picotin. It was the crew change point from crews coming up to Sault Ste. Marie and heading back, and crews going on the northern sub, which we just went from hawk to hearst on um, lots of traffic in the yard we got ore cars we got the number two heading home um, cp interchange new sprint cars pulp log cars and all sorts of other traffic coming in and out and off the layout and from the ontario northland and the canadian national um, the engine tracks here not prototypical but what i could fit in on the layout and uh, typically there's uh, quite a bit of power hanging around Hawk as trains come and go. Um, the team track in the back that I could fit in there for pulp log loads. And of course staging back here. Uh, the CP stuff in the back is just my stuff that kind of hangs out and I'm partial to. And then the uh, track beside the uh, SDs there is uh, staging for the first two tracks. A staging for 
Algoma Central and then staging for Ontario Northland on the outside. We go up the helix and the helix here goes all the way up and uh, skips the area between Hawk Junction and Wawa. Uh, really not a lot but barren rock and treeless land. And we come out of Wawa <coughs> typically where the um, trains would come in and they would they would switch out some empty cars for some loaded cars and also where the uh, ore that comes from the dock gets processed and made into steel grade ore. Uh, one of my switcher loaner switchers is just kind of hanging out here for now. It was never part of the real Algoma Central. And we go along the Mitch Picotin sub heading west and uh, we get into a siding where the trains can run around themselves and shove into the plant. Not quite prototypical, um, but close enough for me as it works for the railway here. Um, so all this scenery I've worked on in the past uh, three or four months, I'm trying to replicate Northern Ontario in uh, late fall. A lot of uh, not a lot of other colors than the yellows and the greens and uh, and such. We have an Imperial Oil dealer um, at one end of Wawa here. I just completed this scene. Not that long ago, we've got our oil unloading dock, got some storage tanks and such. The uh, grade crossing, the west end, and been adding in lights and poles and all sorts of stuff here. Um, again, working on the scenery around, trying to do about 10 feet at a time so it doesn't get too carried away. You can kind of see some of the rock work. Trees. All the trees are either Moose Creek trees for the evergreens, um, Scenery Express I think are the other ones. Um, some of the fluffier trees like this one right here are super trees. And then the rest of the bushes, the yellow ones and the, some of the brown ones are all shrubs that I find locally. Um, so this way we're just coming out of Wawa and uh, we're coming up to the Magpie River Trestle. Um, not quite where it was located on this part of the line, but it's where it ended up locating on my layout. I probably could have moved it further west towards the corner, um, but here's the real one on the ACR. The uh, branch line was ripped out I think in 2001 and is now just a dirt road unfortunately. So we come around the corner and we come around the corner here. Gonna pull out a lube in for the rail. Again, we come around the corner and then you can see on the right side of the locomotive there, that's going to be all in the middle here with a bit of a hill, lots of rocks hanging out, sticking out, that sort of thing. Should be your uh, focal point of the railway, I'm thinking. Come around here and we are heading west into Tremblay. And uh, this area here, I've, it's hard to find prototype photos of how the trackage actually was at Tremblay because there was a Canadian propane dealer and a uh, Texaco dealer. Um, so I'm doing the best I can to fit it all in and make it work. Um, again, there's Canadian propane. And then you come underneath here, and this is a Trans Canada Highway, so Highway 17 North. And um, if you were to go left on the highway, you'd get to Vancouver. And if you were to go right, you'd get to Sault Ste. Marie, my hometown. And we come around the corner and kind of into Tremblay Flats and Tremblay Flats had a couple of reloads here so pulp load reload in the corner um, that's Tremblay the area and back in the day the track plan here if you can see so there's a scale house siding pulp log reload and thanks to Chris Vanderhyde who's done some amazing research on the Algoma Central and again mine's flipped a little bit but uh, very close to the prototype so um, <clears throat> so that's the Google Earth, the Tremblay Flats Road, and another picture from uh, the tail end of the ore train, and it looks like the Pulp Log Extra is coming in behind the ore train to do some switching at uh, <coughs> Tremblay, and we're heading west again, and uh, climbing a bit of a grade um, on the upper level. Again, it's going to look like that. There's going to be some snow on the ground. It's going to look pretty rugged. And we come around, and then this is the uh, dock at Mitchell Harbor with the trackage that goes down to the lakefront where our boats were loaded. So you can see the trackage going 
down, don't mind that ugly Wisconsin Central engine and the Heralds on the Algoma Central engines, we'll pretend that never happened. And the siding and the tracks down to the harbor, which go down here. It's decent grade for HO scale. And then we come around and we can kind of see the dock off in the far corner. The locomotives and the cars are sitting up on the hill here. And then this is the dock down here, which will be right here. So you can kind of see the buildings. And then the units down on the dock, which is right here. I'd really like to, if you guys can see, I'd like to fit somehow that uh, lake boat onto the layout somehow, sitting here, unloading cars. I think that would look really cool. Um, yeah, so that's an update. I'll upload this here this afternoon, and hopefully everybody in YouTube, Dan, likes it. If you're on Facebook, you can find my Facebook page at uh, Algoma Central Railway um, Northern and Michipicoden subs. And uh, just do a quick search, let me know what you think. And there's the other end of the staging yard. Five track, not big enough. Uh, I'm going to be doing an under layout staging hopefully in the next year or so. So there you go. Got any questions? Let me know. Thanks.